Hey there, Patrick Spielman, founder of Uptix. Thanks for opting in. Right now is the point in the video where you think you're gonna get sold and sold and sold and sold. And instead of doing that, because you've already been, been down that path before, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we use Sales AI plus our Cakewalk campaigns to generate more sales, decrease our labor costs, and really just increase our overall sales productivity. So I'm gonna get into our sales automation platform upticks and show you exactly how we do it step by step from launch set, setting up a, a list to launching an automated sequence and show you exactly how the system does this stuff for you automatically. From there, then I'll move into the Cakewalk campaigns and show you exactly how we use those within the platform and the concept behind them to really drive our results. So let's get into it. Now that that's out of the way, I'm going to show you how we use sales AI to get customers a lot faster, reduce our labor costs, increase our sales output drastically, and convert our leads into deals much, much faster. So it all starts with managing your list of leads. So um, in the system, you've got your list of leads and you just basically want to uh, segment those. So I'm going to create a what we call a smart list. We want to segment our leads into a particular list and save that list. And once it's saved, it's saved forever. So um, I'm just gonna save it as you know, demo list. I'm gonna make it a pat, uh, public list and an active list. So an active list is gonna help us drive automation. So this means contacts can move in or out of that list automatically based on the attributes that we have set over there in the filter. So if you're setting up lead list by status, by type, by source, whatever it might be, those leads will automatically come in or out and it's gonna help you drive your automation. So now that that lead list is saved, we need to associate that list to a sequence. So let's build a quick sequence. A sequence is a sales cadence that basically is just a step-by-step -step process that you wanna to use to nurture any type of list that you want. So imagine you have a list of leads for you know, any ebook downloads or website um, signups, contact information being set up, or, you know, just specific lists like people that you met with for a sales meeting, people that are interested, not interested, whatever you want, you can build a custom journey for every single one of those um, use cases. So uh, let's add a couple emails. So first step, I added a manual task. Next step, I'm gonna add an email. Then I'm gonna add an SMS into the process here. and. For the purposes of this demo, I'm not gonna add any delays necessarily uh, in the process because I wanna show you this live, but you can also add any sort of delay so that you can customize the journey however the heck you want. So now that we have all those steps defined, um, let me explain a, a couple quick things. So first of all, under this manual task, we have this neat little feature called, um, basically it's just a sequence pause. So until this task gets completed on you or your sales rep inbox, which helps to keep you really, really organized. I'll show you that in a second. Once this task gets completed, it's automatically gonna in, or start the next step in the sequence. So if you don't have any delays there, it's automatically gonna send an email or an, or an SMS, whatever the next step that you define is. This comes in really handy if you're making, let's say an outbound call, you don't get a hold of somebody, but you wanna send them a quick follow-up email. This by simply completing the task is automatically gonna send that email and you or your sales rep don't even have to lift a finger. Pretty cool. So now that I explained that, let me show you how the leads come into this list. So um, basically all you gotta do is go grab that smart list that we created and associate it under the auto enrollment. There's a bunch of other settings here. I'm not gonna go through them. You can select you know, the days that you have, um, the times that these are getting enrolled and who it's coming from. You also have this neat little thing where you can set your max limit of enrollments per day. So imagine you have a list of cold leads or even, you know, warm or hot leads and you want your reps to work, you know, 10 of them a day. You could set the limit at 10 a day and all of these are going to get work. Um, 10 a day are going to get automatically assigned to that rep every single day that you have associated so that you don't have to do anything. You don't have to micromanage. The system's already set up for you. All the tasks, all the emails, all the SMS are automatically gonna be scheduled and sent either in the inbox or sent to that contact automatically. You don't have to do anything. So I'm gonna save this. Now I'm gonna activate the sequence. Once I save this and activate it, these leads are automatically gonna be enrolled as you saw that updated in real time. And the stats page 
is going to allow you to manage um, and associate any sort of deals that you create. You're going to see all that data and you can see the effectiveness of each one of your sequences. And you can also see your uh, summary information of your emails, open rates, click rates, reply rates, unsubscribe rates. You've got your emails. If you have you know, 10, 15, 100 emails in here, it's going to break down every single one of you and show uh, one of them and show you all the KPIs for every single one of those emails. It's going to tell you total SMS sends and your tasks here. Total tasks completed. So all your completed tasks by you or your sales rep and then your completion rate so you can manage all your manual tasks there. Additionally, it's gonna show you any sort of data that you wanna pull from this sequence. You can pull it and view it in a bar line graph and then pick your different time spans. So now that I've showed you that, let me just show you the enrollment page. So this is gonna be where all your leads show up as enrollees. And if you need to unsubscribe somebody manually from a list, um, you, can, you can do that as well. So you can set auto enrollment in the setup, but you can do it manually as well. I'll be unenrolled from this process and I won't get any sort of uh, email from there. And you can always uh, re-enroll people as well. So if I wanna click this and I wanna hit resume, you just hit resume and the contact's gonna be updated and resumed in that sequence. You can always edit the sequence as well too. So um, now that I've showed you that, let's go to the inbox. All right, so now we're on our inbox and as you can see, all four of those contact records were automatically scheduled tasks. And because in our sequence, we had the next step with no delay to automatically send an email, you're gonna see this little lightning bolt off to the side to signify that the next step is an email or an SMS automatically. So if you wanna view the contact information, all you gotta do is click the link there, click the row, and it's gonna show you all the history. So, you know, you can make your phone call here. We make a phone call, uh, pretty easy. Click call there and it's automatically gonna start calling. So I'm calling myself right now, my phone's ringing. I have it on silent as I'm recording this video, but I'm just gonna hit end. And I can log my notes, I can disposition my call, and I can save the record. So I'm just gonna put, you know, uh, just some garbage in here. Um, I'm gonna hit save. It, it would record the call. If I were to connect the call with my prospect, it's gonna record that, save that automatically. And I can automatically just move on to the next call. I can check this task off. I didn't get a hold of them. And now boom, the email in the next step is automatically scheduled to go out. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to go in, you know, grab an email template or write an email or anything. So that's automatically going to get sent as part of that sequence. And so you just do that um, down the list. We'll refresh our list here. You just continue down the list. You can even go into a power dialing mode. So if I wanna go into power dialing mode, I just click that, that button up there. The first contact does not have a phone number in the system. So you can see here, there's no phone number in the system. And so if I wanna skip this record, I can go ahead and just click start now. And so it's automatically then gonna move into the next contact record. So for this case, I'm gonna go ahead and answer the call and talk to myself for just a second here. And then I'm gonna end the call and I'm just gonna disposition the call as you know connected. Whatever you wanna disposition it as, you can set those up in the settings. I'm gonna hit save. And as you see, the recording automatically got saved onto the contact record. And my countdown clock starts based on the settings that I have in the system to automatically move on to the next call. So this is gonna help you and your sales rep be extremely efficient with your time. And again, you can adjust this clock. If you only wanna give 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you know, minute, two minute, whatever you want it to be set at, you can set that automatically yourself. Um, if you want to start the next call, again, you can always just go and do that. You can exit power dialer mode. And um, this just makes your process extremely, extremely fast and helps you be hyper productive, helps you generate more leads, more sales and um, move your deals or your leads from deals a lot, a lot faster. So I'm just going to end that as I'm calling myself again. So we don't need to do that. So now that there's no contacts left there, um, I don't need to, uh, it's not gonna continue to call, so we can just close that out. And all of those are gonna be complete. As you can see here, um, it's gonna automatically schedule the next process. So um, we forced that process to com complete them, uh, the task so that you know if there is an automated enrollment, 
then you at least are aware of it and you know that there's gonna be a next step automatically initiated. Additionally, you're gonna see any alerts from link clicks, uh, unsubscribes, email opens, all of that information is gonna come here as well as being logged at the contact record level. So if I wanna pull up a, another contact record, I saw that my prospect clicked on a link, might be a good time to follow up with them as you're seeing all this data. So um, another neat little, little portion there. So that's how we do it. That's how we use sales AI to get customers a lot faster, reduce our labor costs, and by doing this and being more efficient, you can you don't need as many people to work your leads because you're really, really hyper-focused. The system is scheduling all your tasks, showing you all your email replies, all your SMS replies in one simple spot so that you can really just focus on the tasks at hand and then move on to things that are more important, like working with your customers or closing sales. So in the next step, I'm gonna show you our cakewalk campaigns and how easy those are to set up so that you can use this system to implement those campaigns to get you a lot more sales. All right, let's get into the campaign. So you can access all those campaigns right from the Uptix platform by clicking the university symbol. And we've got a few different courses in here and that I'll that I'll pull up. So we're gonna go into our accelerator course and I'll show you our campaigns. So um, we call them cakewalk campaigns. You might be wondering why in the heck we call them cakewalk campaigns. It's because they're really, really easy to set up. They're really easy. We give you the steps here. Um, we explain them and tell you, you know, what the logic is behind them. And every single one is extremely easy because we start with your existing customers. And we don't start with cold leads. We start with your existing customers and people that you already have a relationship with. So we show you exactly the types of things that you need to do to, um, to implement. We've got some videos in here showing you some sequences, you know, the different types of campaigns that you can, each, you can run in each one of these. And um, you basically just implement all that into the Uptick sales platform and you launch it and it does all the work for you. Okay, so the next one moving on is, that's our existing customers. We move on to staying in front of old customers. So it's super easy to just reach out to your existing customers and setting up on autopilot by setting up those sequences in the Upticks platform. So again, just like the last one, we tell you exactly you know what this is. We give you some examples. We give you some ideas, drip nurture sequences. We have a video and um, just give you a lot of different ideas to nurture these prospects. Again, it, this is a cakewalk because these are people you already have a relationship with, right? Very, very easy to set this up and set this up on autopilot within Upticks. The next one, I like to say it, it's uh, staying out of the friend zone by putting your maybes on autopilot. So instead of your customers stringing you along and stringing you along, um, you want to put them into a campaign and get them to make a decision a lot faster by you know using some techniques like some edgy copy, you know using a sense of urgency, you know maybe you get a little a bit aggressive with your offer, whatever it might be. Um, so we're showing you some examples here and telling you exactly how to stay out of the friend zone with your prospects and put those on autopilot. The next one is I like to say is so you're telling me there there's a chance, um, just like the Dumb and Dumber quote. So um, the reason why I do that is this is our not interested campaign. So. Um, people that have told you that they're not interested, we still want to prospect those people. So we want to put them into a long-term nurture campaign. So I'm going to talk about that. We're going to show you a video here and exactly how we do that. The biggest key to that is you ask your prospect for permission to touch base with them once in a while. And again, just like everything else, we build that into an automated sequence within Upticks and it's really, really easy. The next one is setting up some strategic referral partner campaigns to help you build new relationships within, uh, with people that are, you know, you can pass business back and forth very, very easily. So I talk about that and some, you know, do's and don'ts and what to do, you know, the fact that you got to give it time, you know, give people without expectations and all that kind of stuff. The last one that we do after all five of those are launched is launching a cold campaign. So um, that's the next step. So we launch our cold campaigns, we use multiple channels within uh, upticks, we use data, and you know a lot of times less is more by just hyper-focusing on specific leads. So those are the six different um, campaigns. We call them cakewalk campaigns, again, because it's really, really easy to set these up 
and the fundamentals are already there uh, within Uptix University. You can take this, make it your own, and implement those very, very easy, easily into Uptix. We also have a bunch of other courses in here that are going to help you with, with messaging. It's going to help you with um, outbound prospecting tips, tips, and then it's going to also, um, we've got a bunch of stuff to help you manage sales reps, how to get your reps to $100,000 in pay, your commission rates, a um, lot of workbooks, templates, uh, stuff like that that you can use and implement really, really quickly. So those are the Cakewalk campaigns. So a combination of our sales AI, our automation platform with those campaigns is what allows us to get really, really good results streamline and optimize your sales process and your sales output explodes by doing this because the system is literally working when you're not and when you are working it's telling you to be it's making you really really hyper focused by scheduling those tasks and telling you when you need to do things so that's how we do it that's how we decrease our labor costs increase our sales and increase our lead to deal conversion extremely fast Okay, so by now you're probably wondering what in the heck the results of all of this are. So let me show you some quick results. So I'm just gonna navigate to some, a deals tab here and show you some of our results for one of my other businesses in the last month. So I took out the names just to keep it a little bit more personal. But as you see, we've created a ton of different deals in the past month here. And we are really diligent about adding all of our deal sources. So we know where they came from, cold email, cold call, referrals, so this one didn't come from an automation, but all these other ones did. And you can see we associate all of our deals that were created from our automation to an actual sequence. So each one of our sequences that you see here were automatically enrolled into a process and this deal was initiated from a particular sequence. So this one, for instance, you can go back and look at the, the actual history and you can see all the communication that has gone out, events that have gone out, circling back. These are automatic emails that um, went out and people actually saying, hey, let us, um, you know, let us think about our upcoming schedule, all that kind of stuff. So, um, and then obviously there's a retargeting task for a call to automatically be followed up with. And then you've got some emails that went out afterwards automatically. So all of this stuff is getting done and sent automatically is part of those sequences, those step-by-step -step sales cadences that I showed you in those cakewalk campaigns that we already have built up in the system to help us drive our process. So this is how it's all done. So we use all of this process to um, drive all of our sales activity, keep us hyper-focused and really, really organized and keep our sales productivity dialed into a T so that we can focus on the things that actually matter in the business. All right, so thanks for sticking with me and showing you exactly how we use sales AI plus our Cakewalk campaigns to get results, be hyper productive with our sales outreach, really increase our productivity substantially, decrease our labor costs, and really generate more deals and more sales by automating and streamlining the process. So right now, the next step for you, if you wanna implement this into your business, and it's really a no brainer because it's very, very easy to set up and it doesn't really cost you a lot. Um, the next step is for you to schedule a call with us, or you can go ahead and sign up for the Uptix platform. The choice is really yours. There's a button below for each. If you wanna sign up, you can get into the platform, use it. We're gonna send you a, an email or a chat support for scheduling an onboarding session and we'll actually help you even set up your account. But if you'd like to know a little bit more about the platform, you can absolutely book a call with us. Go ahead, schedule a demo below by clicking the button, schedule a demo. You're gonna get on a call with either me or my co-founder, Dan, and we will show you exactly um, what you need to see in the platform and give you a little bit more information, whatever you need. I've shown you a lot in these videos, but if you need a little bit more information from us, we're happy to, to do that. Otherwise, again, just click the link. If you want to sign up right now, go ahead and sign up. And once you sign up, that will initiate a process for us to reach out to you to schedule an onboarding session. And we will actually physically help you set up your account and launch some campaigns. So go ahead and do that now. If you don't do it, we can't help you and we can't help you start automating your sales 
If you need a little bit more time, I'm sure you're going to catch us in your newsfeed on Facebook and we will, you know, hopefully see you on the inside. I look forward to working with you and I hope you appreciate the training and we'll see you soon. Thanks.